Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So as we get to the back end of the trading week, we hear that Volkswagen are back in the headlines. And this comes as they have pledged to deliver 1 million further electric hybrid vehicles by the end of 2021. And this is actually a five-fold increase in their deliveries in 2020. Now, when we think of the electric vehicle market in general or the industry, we automatically go to Tesla because obviously they're one of the biggest companies in the world and their chairman is probably one of the richest people in the world. But however, this statement of 1 million electric vehicles in 2021 is quite remarkable because Tesla is only forecasting a 50% growth on deliverables in the same year. So this puts Volkswagen as quite a major player in the electric industry. And from last week when we saw that the stock was trading under 200 euros and now it's trading above and beyond 230 and actually moving above 240 as we speak, then it seems like you know the market is finally seeing that Volkswagen is a serious player in the electric industry and sticking with the European electric vehicle potential BMW have also really well recently released a new electric vehicle but they haven't really ruled out um, gas powered cars at the moment and you know their chairman Oliver Zips has said that um, you know if there are no buyers in the 140 countries that they uh, adhere to then they will stop making and manufacturing these vehicles altogether. But, you know, you have to wonder that somewhere down the line in the next 5, 10, 15 years, they won't have a choice anyway, as, you know, these manufacturers will have to, you know, adhere to some countries or states, uh, we're talking about America now, uh, as they have planned to ban sales of internal combustion powered cars in the not too very distant future. You know, you've got Great Britain and America both uh, proposed bans on sales of internal combustion powered vehicles including hybrids by 2035 so you know this is a step in the direction of probably what president uh, joe biden wants to do as well so he wants to go very green you know we, we all know he's a very green character so we'll have to wait and see when these plans play out so i just want to take a quick look at a few statistics here so uh you know volkswagen promising to spend a 35 billion this year on its uh, electric vehicle platform i just wanted to have a look at the year to date chart from so from the beginning of the year as you can see such a momentum momentous growth in uh, prices and you know another thing is the day range as well it, you know talking about how much it's jumped from 210 to above 230 is very very significant um, on its you know projection for 2021 so you know looking at a very good buy and as you can see and this expectations here uh, looking that it's going to you know buy all the way um, and you know it's, it's not looking like slowing down at the moment and just take a quick look on bmw as well you know obviously bmw are going in the right direction on the upside you know they've got a nice uh, steady market cap and you know their day range is just kind of you know it's hovering around a, a good percentage uh, a good point at the moment uh, after recovering from the slump in last year when the pandemic really hit so you know as i said bmw not counting out gas engines just yet their chairman, Oliver Zips, uh, you know, the company will keep developing, building and selling cars with internal combustion engines, including plug-in hybrids. However, if there are no customers in their 140 markets, then they're going to stop producing them altogether. But as I said earlier, they're probably going to have no choice in the next probably 10, 15 years anyway. So if we just take a look, a quick, a quick look on um, Volkswagen, as you can see, monumental growth. Uh, to the upside from the beginning of the year obviously that's around this target here so as you can see trading about 150 euros and now obviously you know over the 240 limits which is very very significant trading far away from the Ichimoku cloud so you know the bias is <coughs> excuse me the bias is very generous on the upside just want to bring it down to a four hour chart though at the moment just to see what the intraday potentials are because the market is open obviously and again trading very far away from the Ichimoku cloud and as you can see the bias is firmly on the upside we're not seeing much divergences on the RSI so you know a very good bid at the moment and just taking a quick look at BMW as well um, you know I want to bring this down to a daily and just see what the potentials are there the last time i looked at bmw i was looking to see a bit of exhaustion and it did happen at this point here but once we broke through i uh, just zoom in so it's a little bit easier to see so once we broke through this area of about 77 um, we saw a bit more upside potential but then we saw waning again so now i'll be looking to see if we can touch this top roughly just over the 80 mark 
and then you know if we keep pushing higher then you know we'll stay bid however if prices do start to lose momentum then i'll be looking to probably put a sell position in here and to start looking further to the downside you know you could say there was almost a slight divergence on the rsi but it didn't quite reach there so i'm just going to be looking at um ichimoku levels uh, we saw this nice support here roughly about the 67 area but now we're just going to keep looking to see if it's going to break that and push further down so these are just the things i'll be looking out for in the next couple of trading sessions as we close the week as well and we get um, into steadier footing for the next week ahead so that's all from the stop watch today thank you very much for joining me if you have any comments or queries please feel free to add them to the post and i'll get back to you as soon as possible have a great trading day ahead and bye for now Thank you.